what we're going to, to cover in today's webinar um, are some very uh, simple and, and significant objectives about designing precast, pre-stressed concrete parking garages. First, I'm going to provide an understanding of the functional considerations for precast, pre-stressed concrete parking structures, including parking occupancy, site considerations, uh, vertical communication in the structure, and fire ratings. Um, then I'm going to talk about understanding of the structural system design for precast, pre-stressed concrete parking structures. The gravity load framing, the vertical elements of the lateral force resisting system, and uh, also about diaphragm considerations. Finally, I'm going to provide an understanding of design issues and solutions from the lessons learned from precast parking, concrete parking structures. Issues related to warping of floors, floor connections and joints, um, other connection considerations, volume change effects, and construction issues. My presentation is made from my personal perspective of designing precast and pre-stressed concrete parking garages for over 35 years. I've worked for precast concrete manufacturers both as an employee and as a consultant, and I've worked for owners and developers. I want to describe parking garage design to meet the needs of owners, users, and manufacturers all together in, in hopefully an optimum way. So parking garage classification by the building code. Parking garages are classified as moderate hazard storage, S2 type. IBC section 406, motor vehicle related occupancies, covers the very specifics of parking garage design. Garages are further classified in that section as either open under section 406.3 or enclosed, which is section 406.4. Parking garage occupancy dictates a lot of decisions that are made about the functional layout and the level of service. Um, the uses of a garage determine features and the requirements of the garage because of the expectations of the users that are using the garage to store their vehicles. Design for a level of service might be applied to those expectations. Retail destinations require a high level of safety, security, and attractiveness of wayfinding because the ultimate destination is trying to be attractive in order to draw the users in and to provide that facility. Um, garages for office buildings may which have regular and repetitive use may be appropriately have a lower level of service because their use is customary for the people who are using them daily, going to the same location, um, routine, they don't have to search things out, and, and they're going to live with perhaps a, what would otherwise be considered a little bit less convenience. Other uses have other specific requirements. Hospital parking garages have a much higher level of requirements for handicapped spaces. College university type support parking structures have to consider all of the students getting out of class at the same time and there's a higher need for getting vehicles in large volumes in and out of a parking garage essentially at the same time. Um, these are all things that need to be considered during the development of the layout and the, the, the structure for parking. A parking occupancy also may involve mixed-use um, facilities. 